So a special thanks to our youth fellowship, youth members for the wonderful rendition and the wonderful songs uh, that you sang. Uh, it was truly uh, something which all of us enjoyed and thank you for all the efforts that you've put in. Uh, shall we look to the Lord in prayer? Father, we come before you, O Lord, on this beautiful Sunday evening. Gather together, O Lord. We thank you and we praise you, Lord, for bringing us here. And as we uh, listen to your word, O Lord, may you talk to us and may we learn more about you, O Master. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay. So the topic for today is uh, enduring burden. So it's a lot that we go through every day in our lives, burden. So what exactly is uh, burden? Right? So if you look at the dictionary, it says something heavy that is carried, a load of any kind, someone or something that is very difficult to accept, do or deal with. In our everyday lives, we will have a lot of burdens. Uh, Moses, next slide. So here, so every day when we get up or every day when we go, we'll be like super, a superhuman or superman carrying a lot of burden within us. It can be financial burden, it can be a burden of uh, health, it can be, oh, what am I going to do tomorrow, a burden of the future, or any burden that we have, right? So let's now deep, uh, dive deep to see what exactly the Bible tells us about burden, okay? So, so I wanted to have like an interactive session rather than me just talking, so let's see if you can identify these characters okay and i'll talk to you about what uh, why i chose this character and what burden they had so this person said go back and lie down my son if the voice calls you again i want you to say speak eternal one your servant is listening so who said this it was said to samuel but someone told samuel this eli correct so it was the prophet, Eli, it was prophet Eli, right, who said this to Samuel. But why I chose Eli is because uh, if you look at Eli's, Eli was a high priest, right? He was a man of God, uh, supposed to do what God want. He was supposed to do God's work. But look at his sons. Eli's sons were wicked, right? Uh, doing what was not right in the sight of God. Uh, they were like taking off uh, the offerings, they were taking cuts, they were doing things which were not pleasing in the sight of God. So Eli had a burden, right? A parental burden, if I would say. At one point, at one side, he has to do what God wants him to do. At one side, his sons are doing something. He could have rebuked them, he could have punished them, but he let them go very easily, right? And in the end, he was punished. Similarly, each and every one of us will face situations in our lives where we'd be stuck between what is right and what is wrong. So we have to remember that what God tells us, like we have to do things that are pleasing in God's sight. Next slide. So this person was made a king at a very young age. Yeah, Bettina's right, Josiah. So King Josiah, right, was what? Eight years old when he took up the kingdom or took up uh, the throne. So imagine what would have been in his mind, right? Eight years old. We are like, oh no, we can't do anything. But at eight years, he's taking up the throne. And the good thing that he did was, everything that he did was with God or pleasing God, right? And as he grew, as he became a leader, he then restored the temple, right? And then he abolished idol worship. He aligned the kingdom with the laws of the land. So that is what Josiah did. So his burden though, right, was something which was there to lead the kingdom, lead the people at that young age. But he put his trust in God, he aligned with God and God saw him through. The next slide. So these are two in-laws, these are in-laws that are there in the Old Testament. I'll give you a clue. A famous story about in-laws mother-in-law, daughter-in-law, Ruth and Naomi, yeah. So think about their burden, 
right what they had to go through so they were in a foreign land right they lost their husbands right no naomi asked orpah and ruth to go back but ruth stayed with naomi and went wherever naomi went so imagine what would have been running through uh, naomi's and uh, ruth's mind right they're going into a new land the fear of the unknown what's going to happen but yet they did not do anything that would please displease god they went and aligned themselves in god's way next slide naked i came from my mother's womb and naked shall i return the the lord gave the lord has taken away blessed be the name of the lord who said this job no if you look at the book of job there's nothing more that you can see about a man who faced trouble tribulations and a man who faced a lot of burden right he was put to test by satan right but yet not even once did he forsake the name of the lord and the last character who i want to uh, look at okay two people prayed and caused the prison floors to tremble silas and paul correct so look at their situation here they have been present for nothing they did right they were just going about preaching the name of the lord proclaiming the word and they were present they were imprisoned but they did not allow that situation to overwhelm them they still praised the lord and then the prisons trembled the doors an earthquake came and the doors were broken they could have used that situation to escape as well right but they didn't they still they stayed there the jailer came and then he was like what am i where what what's happening and then they were like fear not we are still there we haven't escaped and in turn saving the jailer's life so when we look at all this right we can see that people have faced different kinds of burden but they also aligned with what god wanted so how what does the bible say about how do we endure burden the famous psalm the famous verse which says cast your burden on the lord and he shall sustain you he shall never permit the righteous to be moved so we look at all the bible characters that we have seen so far right be it naomi ruth silas paul job josiah none of them right were worried about the burden they cast their burden onto the lord and they walked in the way of the lord they walked in accordance to what god had for them they never they were righteous in what they did right so as children of god it is important for us to remain focus on god and not focus on the burden that we have the scripture that was read to us right in second corinthians chapter 3 chapter 1 verses 3 to 11 it talks about paul beautifully describes how we take comfort in suffering if you look at verses 3 and 4 it says blessed be the god and father of our lord jesus christ the father of mercy the god of all comfort who comforts us in all tribulations that we may be able to comfort those who are in trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves will be comforted we all have burdens we all have tribulations but why do we have to endure this burden right because god is there for us but here it also says we must remember that we have jesus who is the father of mercies and god of all comfort and this is something that will help us endure the next one and when you look at verses 8 to 11 we read about how paul went into was in asia how they stoned him how he was put to death almost thought that he was dead they thought that he was dead but he was delivered god brought him back he did not allow the burden or he did not allow his circumstances to take his mind off what god had wanted him to do he continued preaching so when we look at both these verses we can see that god in this we can get comfort 
in what God wants us. So we can get comfort in the tribulations and the burdens that we have, knowing that God is there for us. But why do we endure this burden? We find comfort, yes, but why do we endure this burden? It's because we can be a source to those around us who are facing similar burdens, which is what is given in chapter, I mean, verses 4, right? With the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God, that we may be able to comfort those who are in trouble. We learn from our mistakes. We learn from these burdens. We endure these burdens. A burden is something that we have every day. We live with it. We don't look at the burden. We don't look at or get depressed with the burden that we have. Right? Think of it. A kid, a ch small child, when he gets up, when he starts to walk, he falls down, or he or she falls down, he gets up. Then he falls, walks up, gets up, walks, then runs. Then when that kid has another kid, he knows what it is and then helps the, his child, his or her child. Similarly, we will have different types of burdens, we will have different types of endurance, we will have different types of tribulations. But what God wants us to do is learn from these tribulations, have our eyes on Him and help others around us as well so that we will be a source of inspiration that God will be able to talk through them. In conclusion, Sorry. So, in conclusion, there's this song that we always sing as a child. So, this was something which I read in a daily devotion. It's a song which we always sing. Jesus loves me. This I know. Change it a little. Next slide. Jesus knows me. This I love. The entire meaning changes of what we sang and we just sang a song he knows our name god knows our name god knows our every thoughts he just waits for us to call on him john chapter 10 verses 27 says my sheep listen to my voice i know them and they follow me The most important thing whenever we have a burden or whenever we have something that is troubling us, we look to the Lord in prayer. We talk to Him. We are in constant communication with God that we know His voice. And that is very important because He knows our name. He knows our every thoughts like we sang. But more importantly, as Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still and know that I am God. When look at all the characters, everyone knew who God was. They walked in what God, they walked in God's ways. Similarly, we will also need to be still in whatever burden we face, whatever tribulations we have, as long as we are still and know who God is, that's more than enough for us to endure burden. Shall we pray? Father, we look to you, O Lord, in various tribulations that we face, in various trials that we have, we know, a Lord, that there are different burdens that we face, but you have said, be still and know that I am God. You know our name, you know our thoughts. We come before you, O Lord, submitting all our concerns into your hands. Each and every head that is bowed down, O Lord, we know that 
they have things running through their minds. But Lord, we submit everything into your hands. We know, Lord, that you are their comfort. You are the healer. You are a God who does wonderful things. And may you speak, may you guide them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.